Hello and welcome to this video introduction of the Prodomex Warehouse Management System for Sub-Business 1. The Prodomex Warehouse Management System is certified for Sub-Business 1 and is integrated with it both at the administrative level as on the shop floor to RF terminals of touchscreens. In this demo session I will give you an overview of the configuration of the Prodomex Warehouse Management System and of the inbound and outbound logistics processes. When you open the Prodomex tab, in Sub-Business 1, you see the administrative functions of the Prodomex system. We will first focus on the Prodomex organizational structure, which is the engine of the warehouse management system. Here you can model your warehouses in accordance with the physical layout of your operations, receiving and shipping docks, packing zones, pick locations, etc. You can easily move or add organizational structure elements, such as warehouses, zones, docks, bin locations. For each element in the organizational structure, you can specify its characteristics, which will define how it will behave in reality. For a dock, for instance, you can define whether it is active, whether it can be used for loading, unloading or picking. For a bin location, you can define whether it is a pick or a bulk location, whether it is fixed for one or more products, whether it can be replenished and what the minimum, maximum and replenish quantities are. You can also define how and when a bin locations need to be counted, for example after a number of days or operations. The organizational structure also allows to define characteristics of other operations, such as, for instance, reports that will be used, such as a goods receipt label, sales delivery note, etc. Next, you can indicate when these reports will be printed, for example, upon receipt of a new logistic unit. It is also possible to define zone types which can be assigned to storage locations and to products and which will define whether or not a product can be stored at a certain location. Furthermore, Prodomax also offers the possibility to, to specify as many quality statuses as required and to indicate which actions are allowed for a specific status, for instance whether a product can be picked or shipped or not. You can also define standard reasons which operators can select on their terminal when an operation cannot be concluded as it should. It is even possible to force operators to enter an extra explanation for specific reasons. There are many more parameters that can be set in the Prodomex warehouse management system for Sub-Business 1, but we hope this already gives you an idea of how flexible the system is. Now I'm going to show you how the integration between the Prodomex Warehouse Management System and Sub-Business 1 works in the inbound logistics process. We will start by creating a purchase order for a product in Sub-Business 1. We select the vendor, then we select the product, we specify the quantity and then we add the purchase order. The moment the purchase order is created, it is available for receiving on the RF terminal of the warehouse operator. When the purchase order is delivered, the operator selects the reception button and then the system asks him to specify the receiving dock where the goods are received. Then he can receive the goods in different ways, based on a barcode or container code. We however select the order option. The system then shows a list of all orders that are available for receiving. After selection of the order, the operator can specify whether he's going to receive various identical logistic units containing the same product of the same batch or best before date. We, however, select no identical logistic units. We can then scan the GS1 label if it's available or skip this if it's not there. And we specify the logistic carrier and scan or select the product. 
as the system knows which products were ordered, it will only show those ones. As the system knows that this is a product managed by batches, it asks for a batch number and proposes a system generated one which can be overruled by the operator. Furthermore, the system knows that this product has a best before date, so it urges the operator to specify the best before date. Finally, the operator will have to specify the number of items he receives on the logistic unit. Following this, the system generates a GS1 goods receipt label, which the operator can reprint if required. The goods have now been received and automatically a goods receipt has been registered in Subbusiness 1. The goods receipt lists the product and all the information that has been captured about it upon its receipt, including quantity, batch number, best before date and the receipt location. Meanwhile, the Prodomex system has initiated a put-away order for the received goods. On his RF terminal, the warehouse operator can check the available put-away orders by selecting the put-away button and indicating the receiving dock. Then the system shows all logistic units that can be put away from that dock. He scans the SACC and after scanning that, the system asks whether, he, whether or not he wants to move the SACC in one time. We select yes. And the system indicates the default location where the uh, operator should put the SACC. After selecting the location, the system confirms that they have been put away to that location. The Prodomex tab in Subbusiness 1 contains a specific inventory report that allows warehouse supervisors or managers to verify at each moment where a, a specific product is located. We select the location where we have put away the uh, SACC and we see indeed that the, the SACC that we have put away has been registered on that location in the Prodomex system. This concludes the demonstration of the inbound logistics process with the Prodomex warehouse management system for Subbusiness 1. In this final topic of the Prodomex overview for Subbusiness 1, I'm going to show you how the integration between Prodomex and Subbusiness 1 works for the outbound logistics process. We will start by creating a sales order for a product in Subbusiness 1. We first select the customer, then select the product, then we specify the ordered quantity, and the delivery date and then we can add the sales order. In order to release this order to the warehouse an electronic pick list will have to be created. First a pick list proposal is generated. This proposal shows whether there is sufficient stock of the product available, which batch number has been reserved and whether other conditions that are stipulated by the customers are met. If this proposal matches the requirements, a pick list can be generated that is sent to the RF terminal of the operator. The moment the pick list is generated, it is available for picking on the RF terminal of the warehouse operator. He selects the sales button on his terminal followed by the picking button. Then all available pick lists in his zone are shown on his RF terminal. After selecting the pick list, the system shows the items that need to be picked for that pick list, as well as their quantity and location. In case of item picking, the operator can choose to pick on a movable location and pack it later. In this case, it is a full pallet picking that we are going to execute. The operator scans the SACC of the logistic unit and then it is picked for this pick list. A shipping label is created which the operator can reprint if required.
to ship the pick goods, the operator selects the shipping function on his RF terminal and selects the shipping dock from which he wants to ship the goods. He can then ship according to route, pick list or wave. In this case we will select the pick list option. Then he selects the pick list as he has just picked. And then he sees all SCCCs that belong to that shipment. He scans the SCCC to finish shipping it to the customer. The SCCC has been loaded and a sales delivery is booked in Sub-Business 1. Also, the shipping documents that have been defined are printed and can be reprinted by the operator. If we now turn to Sub-Business 1 again and check for a sales delivery, we will see that the shipment that has just been executed has been registered and from there on it can be copied to an accounts receivable invoice. This concludes the demonstration of the outbound logistics process with Prodomex for Sub-Business 1. The Prodomex Warehouse Management Systems offers many more advanced logistics functions and if you want to learn more about these, contact us via info at prodomex.com.